Hi guys, this is Rob Scribner from RV Talk Radio and welcome to our quick brief of what's going on with RV Talk Radio. As you can see, our background's a little different and our format's a little different. And so we've been kind of redesigning uh, the show a little bit to do some live shows, uh, but we'll still keep to the old podcast format uh, between those shows. But coming up next week, we're going to attempt <laughs> do our, to do our first live show on RV Talk Radio, and I'll have uh, 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 Derek Wrencher with me to help do the show, and we also have a uh, guest coming in that we're going to Skype in. So anyway, we're kind of excited, and I thought I'd show you a clip from Arizona Talk Radio that talks about what we're getting ready to do. And I hope you enjoyed the clip, and uh, we'll make an audio version of this too. But once again, I want to thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching and listening to RV Talk Radio. We'll talk to you in a bit. Now, here's the clip. The other show, which is actually one of our top shows, is uh, RV Talk Radio. Yeah, lots of followers, lots of subscribers. Yeah. Yes, and uh, so I was going to tell you a little bit about RV Talk Radio. And uh, let me switch back over to our other screen here. So RV Talk Radio has been going on for like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like my introduction to getting into radio. Yeah. yeah. So it started out small, <laughs> and uh, um, you know, so I, uh, I, I, and I didn't have very good microphones or anything like that. So if you went back to like old episodes, yeah, uh, the sound is kind of e, yeah. <laughs> and then it kind of gets a little better because I, I did change to one mic, but it was still not the right kind of mic. Yeah. Until finally, I actually, that's where you see what. In the other uh, office, I have a very expensive microphone because I, I was noticing uh, the show was growing a lot and it was getting quite popular. And uh, so, if you're into RVing, yeah, <laughs> um, that's what that show's all about. And actually, we haven't done any episodes for about three weeks on that because Derek and I are going to attempt to do a live. RV Talk Radio next week yep. with a guest um, on Skype, mm -hmm. and uh, that's about all I can tell you about it because uh, we haven't cinched down the the interview person yet. But I thought it'd be kind of neat to have you on that show sure. because RVers doing RVer shows tends to be just all RVers. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're trying to cater to new RVers. Yeah, everybody so, wants an RV. Yeah, so you would be that new yeah. RVer person. Yeah. So I think your questions and and observations would be uh, relevant because sure. really you're the kind of person we're trying to reach. Absolutely. So anyway, uh, there's all kinds of RV shows out there. There's RV travel out there, RV education 101. There's a bunch of people that have uh, RV channels out there. And uh, so we we didn't we decided to make RV Talk Radio not a show about uh, how to do stuff all the time, like yeah. how to change your black tank or how to fix an LED light or something like that. Yeah, because there's or millions of videos out there. Oh, about that, yeah. yeah. And so it's like, why reinvent the wheel or exactly. why, why do another show about winterizing? Everybody? Exactly. So our concept on RV Talk Radio is um, RV life's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so that's why on this show you hear me talk about the RVs a lot because we study the lifestyles. Yes. And what a what an interesting subject! Oh, oh my yeah. God! So you know, we were talking about homeless yesterday. Uh -huh. RVs is actually a uh, uh, part of that story. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, and so uh, uh, so on RV Talk Radio, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit what it is. It is a podcast, and just like this show, the episodes are loaded up to um, Good Talk Radio as regular shows, so uh -huh. you can hear RV Talk Radio two or three times a day on Good Talk Radio, yep. which is our 24-7 radio station. So it's syndicated. Mm -hmm. So I like to explain this because a lot of times we get advertisers on, they go, well, how many listeners do you have? Well, we have a lot on just the podcast. Thousands. But I can't tell you the rest of them because it's also syndicated to the full-time radio uh, yeah. stations and Good Talk Radio is on iHeartRadio, yeah. TuneIn, iTunes, Spreaker, all kinds of it's stuff. It's group after group, connected to group, connected yeah, to group. But so I can assure you it's like over a thousand some odd subscribers a week. You can't yeah, so really pinpoint it because yeah. there's so many. And of course, I haven't got any episodes out and I'm, sh I'm starting to feel the, You're slacking, the Rob. feedback. Come on. Like, Come on, guys, get your episodes out. What I haven't explained to anybody and I'm just kind of doing it now is, as you can see right now, you're seeing how much we've changed Arizona Talk Radio. Yeah. Well, we like it so much, it's just like, uh, it'd be kind of neat to 
incorporate this change a little bit into RV talk radio. Yeah, it's like an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're working on the upgrade part of it and how to go about that. Doing a live show mm -hmm. is so different than the way I do RV talk radio now because I do those in modules. Yeah. And so I'll do like a 20 minute segment, put a break in there, and, then, and if you hear the show, you'll hear music between the breaks. Mm -hmm. That could be like a day later. Sure. Um, so to do a live format for RV talk radio when it comes to lifestyles, it will be kind of fun because we really rile people up in that show because we talk about the van dwellers, we talk about e-begging, we mm -hmm. talk about the million dollar machines to low cost, run down, we've seen homeless, we've seen all kinds of things that pertain to RVing yeah. and uh, we'll even talk about some of the disturbing things too. So um, most shows don't want to do that they just want to say come on board or do yeah. this and this is the life and full timing yeah. is the way to do and it's like well yeah but wait a minute <laughs> yeah rob's not trying to sell you an rv he's telling you the lifestyle that comes with owning one yeah so, so we tend to get some people upset at us sure, because sure. you know i may be it. attacking the van dwellers a little <laughs> bit but there's good sides to, like the van dwellers and there's the bad side and a lot of it has to do with fixed income and low, uh, and homeless people yeah. and stuff like that then there's the ones uh, people that go out and grab an rv and they're young and all that stuff yep. so instead of facing life and getting an education or learning skills and stuff they'll go out and and try to get people to fund their travels sure through what the old terminology is e-begging, but through PayPal donations and selling stickers or selling us uh, uh, stuff from Amazon as an affiliate, yep. and they're just constantly trying to get money sent to them and making money doing the YouTube channels, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's just every show they're just trying to sell you something. Yeah, and so uh, uh, that's kind of the dark side of what I call RVing, and, and yeah. we report on it. And, uh, and then there's the stories of like people that have either passed away or lost a spouse yeah. while they're traveling and there's the things you need to know before you make the big decision of becoming an RVer. There's a lot that goes in Yeah, there. I mean, whether you're young or old, there's mm -hmm. all these different things you may not have thought about. How do you deal with your health care? What do you do if you're, you know, um, for repairs and what do you do for insurance and what do you do, uh, you know, uh, if you have children? Uh, homeschooling, we've even talked about that. So, mm -hmm. oh, uh, quiet feedback today. Don't I uh, want to remind people that hey, if you're watching today, uh, feel free to say hello in the chat side so we know you're here, so we can say hello. <laughs> exactly. So uh, on RV Talk Radio, um, uh, there's a podcast version. Yep. There is a um, YouTube version too, mm -hmm. and so you can if you don't like to listen to pod uh, podcasts, you can actually play YouTube audios mm -hmm. if you want to. And now what we're trying to introduce is a little bit of uh, at least a few live shows. Yeah. So not only do you have the audio, but you have our, our pretty faces. <laughs> <laughs> and we can actually show slides and things like that as we yeah. do the show. Yeah. And if we have interviews, we can literally do Skype and have them on the show. Yeah, do it live. Yeah. Yeah. And so if anybody has any questions, they can chime in and we'll ask the gentleman or the lady who we're interviewing. So yep. it's kind of cool. And uh, RV Talk Radio also, um, we cover um, motorhomes, we talk about fifth wheels, we talk about uh, trailers, we talk about Class C, and that's uh, kind of like the van looking kind of uh, okay. RVs with the big, you know, with a home kind of part in the back part gotcha. of it. And then you got Class Bs, which are typically uh, uh, vans or what they call um, tour vans, yeah. uh, kind of fixed up ones. Yeah. And then also campers, those are the kind of Gone things campers, we'll talk yeah. about. And we'll, we talk about part-time RVing, uh, what we call weekend warriors, which is typically people like you and I who mm -hmm. work nine to five and you grab your RV and go spend the weekend somewhere. And the full-timers call them uh, weekend warriors, but yeah. they're the ones that deserve it the most because they need, you know, getting a break. And so RV is a away. great tool for that. Oh yeah. And there's really big changes going on. Uh, the growth in RV sales is going up, yeah, which means special. campsites are getting full, prices are going up. Oh yeah. RV parks are being bought out and then upgraded and then uh, uh, prices go up and then so that's kind of some of the causes of the homeless problems that's been going on oh yeah and stuff like that so anyway and then we talk about full timing of course which is people that either are retired and maybe doing full timing and then there's people at full time and do RVing as a living or there's people that go out and they do what's called work camping okay where you can go out and uh, 
literally uh, get jobs at different places. Sometimes you can actually get a job at the RVP, RV park itself and get benefits like free rent. That's cool. Or, or a little bit of a salary and stuff. But um, and then there's a lot of people that can work virtual nowadays. Yeah, oh yeah. So as long as they can get internet, they can work on the roads. Work so, from home. Yeah. yeah. And RVs is a, is a good way to. You know, housing's getting really expensive. There's yeah. literally people living in RVs that have normal nine to five jobs. And, oh yeah. And uh, especially in the cities, where they could stay at an RV park for a fraction of trying to own a four hundred to eighty, you know, yeah. eight hundred thousand dollar house. My <laughs> uncle and aunt, they do that. They bring their RV down or bring their camper down, so they don't have to stay at a hotel, and it saves them hundreds and thousands of, of dollars. I mean, they stay down here for a month at a time. So. Yeah. Hey, thanks for listening to RV Talk Radio. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And we'll see you next week with our first live show. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.